Here's Brody Brazil. Okay, you aviation nerds, are you ready to geek out with me here? Because there is nothing I love more than a good winglet. No, seriously. Like, I, I think every plane looks cooler with winglets. Yeah, it also makes them more efficient and modern, and we'll get into that. Like, what, what purpose they actually serve. I'm just saying here, aesthetically speaking, woo, that thing looks clean with some winglets on it, doesn't it? What am I talking here about? Winglets? It's the tips of the wings, which have started to become a lot more commonplace across the last two decades as we've realized more about aerodynamics and efficiency and reduced induced drag as well as fuel economy of an airplane. You can get more out of a lot of planes by putting winglets on them, even if they were not initially designed that way. New planes, most of the time, are either now designed with an efficient wing or designed with winglets, a certain type of them in general. And yeah, older airplanes have retrofit kits. A lot of them do. Uh, for example, Boeing 757s. Those were never designed with winglets. Nowadays, it's hard to find one that does not have a retrofit kit installed. So let's talk about winglet facts here. They are said to be responsible for increased mileage rates of up to 7%. That comes to us from NASA. I'm here to say it might be half that, but even if it's 3%, 3.5%, that is, a, that is a huge deal on fuel economy. And if you run a fleet of airliners, 3%, I mean, think about getting a 3% raise at work. You'll take it. And especially if the investment to get that 3% over year after year after year is, is a fixed amount, you can retrofit your airplane with winglets or buy a new airplane that has winglets. If you can get that much more, 3% more out of your airplanes and the fuel you purchase, you're definitely going to do it, especially if it's, if it's not a gamble, it's a reality. Other benefits that winglets uh, include beyond just looks <laughs> higher cruise speed occasionally, higher cruising altitude, and better climb rates. Okay, so how does all of this work from an aerodynamic perspective? We know that high pressure seeks low pressure. That's from the lower camber of the wing to the upper camber. And usually most people think about the trailing edge is where they meet, but how about the wing tip, right? High pressure still seeking low pressure there. And as it does that, it kind of curls around the top of the wing. And by the trailing edge, it ends, and all of a sudden now it's in that spinning vortex, which you can see depicted here. Obviously, that exists on both the right and left wings, but a smaller vortex, right? If you can create a smaller vortex, you get less induced drag. The more induced drag without a wingtip generally means that the wing is not as efficient. It has to push through that air harder. Induced drag is a product of creating lift, but the less induced drag you can have, the more efficient your wing is, obviously, a smaller vortex, is what gets you to all of that. Did that make sense, right? How do you get a smaller vortex with less induced drag? You put a winglet on. You see the difference here on this jet. Look at the, the profile of it from the front. One side, the left side, has no winglets. That's a bigger vortex. The right side has winglets. Tiny little vortex there. It still exists. You can't get rid of it entirely, but to make it smaller... That is how this airplane becomes more fuel efficient and has those better, those better numbers quoted. And there are other variations of, of winglets. You'll see different kinds, like on an Airbus here, a wingtip fence. These all generally do the same thing, just in different ways. I think this is from a 747, a canted winglet. So it's all part of wing design, right? Split scimitar tip. Uh, that's on a lot of the new Boeing 7.3s. And the blended wing, there's an A350. So you can see it has the same effect, but that's just one kind of all one, one piece right there instead of more of a defined winglet that pops up more like a fence, the blended wing. So yeah, winglets, I'm a sucker for winglets. There's no question about it. I, I wish... <laughs> I wish a Cessna 152 had winglets, seriously. Like I just think every airplane looks a little bit better, but to know that they perform better, to know that they are more efficient, they make more of the fuel they use. I, I like winglets because of that too. And I know they've just become popular in recent decades, but I have a feeling that down the road, 
it's going to be hard to find a plane that does not have winglets. So hopefully that explanation makes sense and you enjoyed it. Thumbs up on this video if it provided you any value. And subscribe to this channel if you like this content. I've got lots more coming your way.